Today is Thursday, February 4th. I'm Tracy Anderson, and this is how I'm looking at things. Let's talk about beef. The whole damn complex is is, is moving up in overdrive. Um, I think it's a bit overblown. We should see this mellow out in a couple weeks, but right now everything is moving up. Chucks are just crazy high right now. Rounds are moving up strongly. Middle meats are all up higher. Uh, don't forget grinds. Grinds are moving up with everything else. So couple weeks ago I was saying the market was falling and to wait if you could buy. Now if you wait to buy it's going to cost you more money. So buy it this week because next week it's going to be more money. So only a couple weeks I think this is going to mellow out a little bit. But right now things are really heating up. Talk about pork bellies. This time last week we were at 123 and today we're at 123 so I'm pretty happy about that. It's a little higher. It's a little higher than last year but nothing to get too excited about. Um, other pork products are moving higher, butts, loins, ribs, especially hams. Processors moving hams to the to um, make hams for Easter right now, so hams are a little on the uh, high side. Again, nothing to get excited about. It's still a great value, and I'm still going to say menu pork. Moving to the CME, block is down three, barrel is up two, butter is down two. Boy, these are real normal looking numbers. I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, still favorable pricing, pricing across the board. This is a pretty low market right now. Good time to be buying, good time to be in the market. Move on to uh, my new favorite grains. Corn, corn's now up to 550, um, 550 a bushel. Corn suppliers are hoping to push that up to $6. So it's great if you're a corn farmer, not so great if you're feeding corn to chickens, pigs, or cattle. So uh, this is going to continue to be an issue moving forward. Soy is also holding on to those recent gains and moving higher. I expected a little relief. It didn't happen. Uh, there's a lot of export activity going on, so we're going to see this high soy market now for a while. I still think wheat is a sympathetic play, just moving up because the others are. Uh, the fundamentals don't tell me that uh, there's not enough wheat or that demand is outstripping production or anything like that, but wheat is, is moving up a little bit. Okay, that's all I'm going to talk about. Thanks for listening. Enjoy your really expensive chicken wings this weekend for the game. And uh, have a great week.